X-Ray for Minecraft 1.19.1 and this video I'm going to show you exactly how to download it, install it, and set it up. Specifically, we're going to be getting the X-Ray Texture Pack for 1.19.1. First thing you want to do, of course, is go to the second link in the description down below. This will take you here. This is our in-depth guide for getting X-Ray Ultimate. X-Ray Ultimate, by the way, is the resource pack we're going to be installing today to get X-Ray. But it is an in-depth text guide. However, we're also going to be going over everything in this video. Once you're here, click the yellow Download X-Ray Ultimate button to be taken to the official download page for X-Ray Ultimate. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and come over here to the right-hand side, right? The right-hand side over here. And as we can see, if we scroll down, we have Minecraft 1.19 on the right-hand side. Under that, we have the X-Ray Ultimate 1.19 version. This might not say 1.19.1, but it is updated. One way to check that is up here at the top. You can see game version is 1.19.1. Nevertheless, come to the right-hand side, scroll down, and under Minecraft 1.19, click the orange Download File button. That'll then take us off to here where the download begin. While that's downloading, how about a smart sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. It's important to note that you cannot use X-Ray on Minecraft servers. Well, you can on some, but most Minecraft servers will get you banned. It's also very, very easy to block X-Ray on Minecraft servers. For that reason, if you want to use X-Ray on a server, we recommend hosting your own server at Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyc slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server where you can X-Ray all you want because it's your Minecraft server. You make the rules. If you want to X-Ray, you can do it. At Apex, you also find 24 hours, 7-day-a-week support if you do need help with your server, and there's over 200 mod packs with one-click installation. Again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own server where you can X-Ray all you want. Nevertheless, as we can see, X-Ray Ultimate has now downloaded in the bottom left of Google Chrome. You may need to save it in the server screen of Firefox or keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome, but for me, it just worked. From there, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and then we want to move X-Ray Ultimate to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, or on the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Go ahead and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open this up, and in here you will see X-Ray Ultimate. Right there it is. Drag and drop this to your desktop just for ease of use. Once X-Ray Ultimate's on your desktop, we actually need to open up Minecraft 1.19.1. So let's go ahead and do that. Oddly enough, this is actually the first time I've opened Minecraft 1.19.1. As you can see, latest release 1.19.1. Wait for it. When this uh, play button appears here, it's downloading the version right now. There we go. Play button appears. We can click play and it will go ahead and launch 1.19.1 where we can install X-Ray. Here we are on Minecraft's main menu and it's so easy to install X-Ray at this point. It's going to kind of blow your mind. Click on options and then click on resource packs. Then click on the open pack folder button here in the bottom left. That's going to open up the resource packs folder and all you need to do is take X-Ray Ultimate from your desktop and drag and drop it into the resource packs folder. In the background here, you can see it automatically appeared. X-Ray, right there it is. It says use Optifine when possible. Optifine's currently not out yet, but we do have a link in the description down below where you can go and see if Optifine's out. If it is out, you'll see 1.19.1 there and you'll be able to get Optifine. However, let's go ahead and click on the little arrow here to move it over in the selected pack section. Once we click done, it's going to reload Minecraft and X-Ray has been installed. We can jump into our single player world here and we'll see that it is in fact working. One thing I do want to mention is it's going to be a little hard to see ores and things until we turn on night vision. Now that's why you actually, it's kind of an advantage of using Optifine because Optifine means you don't have to use night vision because it's kind of hard to see these ores. If we go ahead and get some uh, night vision real fast though and then we drink this night vision potion boom it lights everything up so without optifine you need night vision in order to be able to easily x-ray and be able to see ores from like a super far distance like we are right now but at this point everything's working you can see all the ores you can see we've got iron ore here we've got copper ore we've got gold ore doesn't matter what you want it is all here lapis as well most importantly we will go down here and we can see that the deep slate ores are also working and there is diamonds look at that there's also some diamonds there it's kind of crazy the range that diamonds spawn in these days but nevertheless that is how you can get x-ray however when you're in game if you want to turn off x-ray you just hit escape options resource packs and then move it from the selected pack section over into available and click done and now minecraft is going to reload and as you can see x-ray is now disabled right if you want to turn it back on in game escape options resource packs and click on the arrow to move it from available over to selected Click done, reloads Minecraft, and just like that, X-Ray is back active. It's that simple to use it. This also does work in the nether. So we go ahead and go into our extra large nether portal here. We will be able to see in the nether, it actually allows you to things, find things like quartz, but also ancient debris. So I know that's pretty hard to find without, you know, actually doing some mining and stuff, but we'll see here. Um, I think there it is. Boom, we have found some ancient debris right like so, allowing us to obviously get netherite. 
awesome. So that is how you can use this resource pack to basically find some ores in the nether in the overworld and be able to quickly and easily get things going in Minecraft. Ever since they, you know, kind of added in the additional ore layer, if you will, in 1.18 where they had ore spawning change and all that, it's kind of broken me. So I've been known in single player worlds to occasionally turn on some x-ray, not gonna lie. But nevertheless, that is how you can get x-ray in Minecraft 1.19.1. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And that's actually kind of cool. Look at this mountain. There's a mountain and there's like ores all the way up through here. It's awesome. Nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content on Minecraft. And I am out. Peace.